I guess we'll start the show. We good with that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, we're just like a year in review thing. It's gonna take about three hours. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I kind of wanted to sit here all day anyway. Yeah. All right, we gotta quit talking now. Okay. <laughs> Life's hard. Life's hard. Sorry about that. Welcome to the JHS Show Live, special Friday edition. This is the 2021 year in review. It is January 2022, obviously. And uh, we're going to go through all the cool pedals. That's not true. We're not going to cover every pedal because that's impossible. We're going to cover some stuff that I really, really enjoyed from this year. So if I don't mention a pedal that you love, don't be offended. Don't be hurt. It just means we can't be here all day. There's a lot of stuff to cover. We actually have a floor cam. Uh, we're going to attempt to, yeah, it's going to take a while. Anyway, how you doing, Joshua? Uh, I'm good. Yeah? Just drinking some tea. Drinking some tea. Did you have a good holiday season? Yeah, uh, I had COVID. That's good. On Christmas Day. It's probably the worst day. See, that's a Christmas song nobody's written. The universe gifted me with COVID. Yeah. For Christmas. Nick, how are you doing? Oh, that's good. So I guess we get right into this. First category being uh, delay, I guess. Let's look down at the pedal board cam. Uh, I do want to mention... I'm not using a real tube amp today. Uh, there's going to be a lot of hateful comments about that. I, I'm I ready. Think, yeah, I think this is impressive. This is the Walrus ACS-1. I know it stands for Amplifier Combo, but the S, I can't remember what it stands for. Sick. Sick. Amplifier Combo Sick 1. Um, I have the first cab setting and... I'm on the Fullerton, which is a Fender tone. A little bit of room there. And I'll play this SG. Uh, Tom just fixed Simplified? This up. Is that what it is? No. I don't know. I don't know either. Just thinking. Thinking out loud. So here is the um, clean tone. A little more room in there. But this thing's really cool. You can have presets, obviously. Um, I have it just simply running out to a radio direct box, and it will be the amp you hear. It has a boost. You can activate this, but I'm just going to use it straight ahead, and I'm keeping it pretty clean. Anthony Stevens said amp cab sim one, oh, which see, makes sense. He's smart. I Thanks. I thought it was Thanks, AC, Anthony. like Vox AC30 means amplifier combo 30 watts. I was lots, my... of, lots of people are saying simulator. Okay. I like right. sick better. Sick. Amp cab sick one. Good job, Warris. Sounds great. Um, let's yeah, let's look at these pedals. So in the category of delay, there are four main treats, I think. Um I'm gonna shy away from saying my favorite because I don't have favorites. These are all very good pedals. Um there's kind of two categories um to mention. This is like Bucket Brigade Analog. This is the Mythos Oracle, which is a beautiful pedal. It's a good looking pedal, and that's okay to say. Then you have the, this just came out, the Deluxe Memory Man. Um, Wait, the? The, it's, it's I... a, they shrunk it. Mike Matthews magically shrunken. Yeah, look look how much smaller. So that, this yeah. whole pedal. They crammed it in here, and it's really good. Yeah. And then we have the GFI Orca. I th is orca a type of animal? Is it a mammal? It is a whale. A whale. Actually, I think it's a dolphin, technically. Like, that's it's closer to a dolphin than a whale. Okay. And then we have the Starlight Echo Station, which we did a whole episode on these. This is by UA. So these two are digital, and they cover a lot of sounds. Um, these are more versatile. These are more pedal board friendly in the sense of you can have one of these and have a lot of different sounds. And then... Uh, yeah, this one's really cool. It has a memory man setting and stuff as well. So, you know, what do I play? I think I play the this memory guy. man. I play the memory man. Can I have it when you're done? No. Okay. You cannot have it. And uh, let's check it out. 
in the comments, be sure to leave scathing comments about how boring this episode is. We already know that this is not for the faint of heart going through all these pedals. Uh, if you leave a really super scathing comment, Joshua might read it just to kind of spice things up. So we need you in the comments to help the show, you know, uh, I guess let's, uh, let's jam. You want to jam? Uh, let's, uh, Nick, kick off a beat. I'll just play. Yeah. So I'm going to do max delay first. Turn the mod off. It has a rate and depth, but let's turn that off. So the Bucket Brigade at that length, it's almost a second. You can hear it gets really trashy because it's so long, which is a good thing with analog. You can also hear a high pitch clock noise. That's normal when it's maxed out. So let's back it up. Really nice. I'm going to turn on some mod. Really slow rate. Ooh, and the depth, so. You stink. This stink. Everything stinks. Yeah, everything Dan, stinks. Dan Cech said that. the feedback at like 80 percent has a blend it's just a really good i mean it's a memory man rocket brigade turn the feedback up a little a little more depth on the mod Yeah, this is just from uh, like history. If we look forward, this is a really cool release. Um, the Memory Man has been around since uh, the mid '70s. It's never been shrunken down quite like this. There are X Vive put out a version, like a clone, with Howard Davis, one of the del the designers of the Deluxe. Uh, but EH has never officially put their stamp on a small version. So this is really, really That's cool. A big deal. It is a big deal. You're too far from your mic. So, I, it was actually people gonna, muted. People are going to yell at you. Um, you don't even have to mute it. Okay, I won't. It's fine. So this is a big deal. This, this is, is a cool. big deal because it's Electro Harmonics doing it. Um, what's the price point on this guy? It's two hundred and three dollars. That's I a believe? good. That's a good buy. Yeah. Two oh three ten. Yeah, if you buy the vintage one that you held up, it's going to be like five to seven hundred bucks, and it's not going to work. And this is small, and it works great. Yeah, surface mount parts are amazing. So Indeed. This is cool. I guess I'll play the Orca. You should. I'll play the Orca. Which I mean, is in the Porpoise family, tell, all of you fighting me. Tell us about chat. Orcas. Is I there will. is there anyone in the comments who's like an Orca trainer? Uh, Not so, s anyone? If you're an Orca you trainer, trainer, come forth. I know that it's called a killer whale. But, you know, we call koalas koala bears, and they're not bears. We also call tomatoes a vegetable. Exactly. Because humanity is broken. Indeed. All right, so this is The Orca by GFI. I was impressed with this whole series. Um, you'll see a couple more of these today. They basically came out with this format. Fully digital. Um killer display menu simple controls different modes so if i go through this delay pedal ambient reflect just like put everything up a little bit so uh then we have tape echo rec daniel wright works with orcas at sea world in orlando all right daniel so that's a echo rec tape echo Diffuse replica. Ooh, that's nice. Ambient reflect. That's like you you hit a window and it shatters. It sounds more like you dropped a pen on the floor. Or that. 
digital delay. You also have tap tempo and all kinds of fancy things, but. Yeah, this is a cool pedal. Can so, you play something good? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's so weird. It's like in a strange timing. Bring it back. pedal yeah i like these um and then just some notes on the others we played them on episodes this oracle is a fantastic simple analog delay i think personally uh for my board which i'm a very boring person this would probably end up on my board out of all of these uh just because you can i use analog delay as a quarter note so i would just be able to tap in the quarter note and it works like it's mono. I don't care about stereo. It's simple. It's kind of bigger. Um, yeah, so I like that. And then this is one of the best memory men uh, type pedals I've ever heard, the way that they did this. And you also get tape echo, and you get a digital echo, and it's really phenomenal. So, yeah, that's delay. Let's do next category. Let's just uh, do reverb and get that over with. So let's do the floor cam while Josh wanders around. The reverbs are right here. Oh, hey. right here. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm wearing Crocs today. See my? These are the insulated Crocs, Josh. Do you have these? Do I have those? Yeah, I do. You, do. you do? Uh, I got them as a Christmas gift from you, actually, from you. Yeah. So we're you're getting to see how the sausage is made today. We're just gonna wander around, throw pedals on the table. Um, we'll take these delays away. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll leave the Oracle in the path because I talked about it. Um, I'm going to leave it in the path. And I'll just, if I feel like I want to add delay to a drive or something later, I'll do that. This is how it's made. Pedal board cam. Did I do okay? Yeah, you did great. Okay. I'm even going to show people like what we do. Here. This is, this is uh, like behind the scenes. We just do a little gaff tape. See this? I don't know how that would work for touring. It doesn't. This is just simply for a live stream where you don't do anything. If you don't want to ruin the serial number on the back of your pedal. Yeah. Yeah. See? Uh, take that delay away. Now, reverb. There's a lot of cool stuff this year. Let's lay them out here. Um, my goodness. My goodness. Let's see. So we put out the Hall Reverb uh, 3 Series, and uh, I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah, there's an episode on this, 99 bucks. Really proud of it. It's much different than our other Reverb, which I'm also proud of. Yeah. Yeah, 3 Series. This has its own episode, so I would, don't want to give it too much time. It is a fantastic Reverb pedal, this series. You get a spring, a plate and a haul, and these algorithms are just unreal. They're so good. The spring reverb has the like legit drip sound. Really good pedal. Uh, so let's talk about stuff I've never really shown necessarily. We have the Skylar. These are all gonna be digital because reverb pedals are digital unless they actually have a spring in them, and that's really rare. So the Skylar, is it Skylar or Skylar? I'd probably say Skylar. Skylar sounds like a bully in my high school. <laughs> like Skylar's coming to beat me up and shove me in the locker. Skylar does, yeah. I grew up in Wyoming, and Skylar was kind of a, it was a name. I'm always amazed that you Colton. grew up in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just. Wade. Wade. All right, Skylar. So this is just like the delay format you saw. Um, I've played this before. I'm actually going to do a GFI bio episode. Let's go straight to this. Let's go straight to Earthquaker. Earthquaker, one of my favorite brands ever. 
and just some of my favorite people ever. I think their team is so creative. Um, I feel like, you know, they're they're just good. They're good at everything they do. And um, this thing is really wild. I need a third power supply cable right here. We're just uh, we're showing how it's made. You're getting all you're getting to see this. So, you know what else Earthquaker what else? did? What'd they, um, What'd they do? They gave us a way to find our destiny. Oh. These are carrot cards. T tonal tarot cards. Tonal tarot. 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 A tarot. What's tarot? Sounds like a tariff, like a tax. So we have. Uh, it might be. That's this pedal, the Astral Destiny. Yeah. Okay. So let's look down at the cam. We have an activate and a stretch. So I'm just going to activate it. Okay. Now I have the length up. Length? Length? Doesn't matter. Length. Length. I'm going to put it on the abyss mode. And this is like the modulation or movement on the reverb. So I'm going to turn it off and just play. Okay. That's the overall mix. I'm not going to mess with preset. So here's like... That's the abyss mode. Now let's add some rate and depth. That's nice. That's very much like a... Sounds like a Juno. Like a... Let's do Shimmer. So Shimmer is the Brian Eno 70s thing that U2 kind of took over. You have a tone. And again, these are all just on the actual verb. Sub. So it's a sub octave. really cool there's all kinds of sounds i'm gonna go all the way over to this cosmos sound slower rate a lot of depth um that sounds like brian Eno. yeah nick can you give me a beat wow somebody's really not pulling their weight so nick and i um yeah what's why is he not here I'm not going to say that he's not here, but he and I had a uh, conversation okay. not too long ago, um, and he's not very happy with me. Wow, he's usually happy with everybody. I'm just going to leave it at that, but we okay. haven't talked to each other since then. And when was that? Like two days ago. When some, you lose some, I guess. Yeah. This is a great pedal. So this isn't your reverb for like normal. You're not gonna you're not gonna plug this up and go play surf music. Here's the stretch button. But you will play space music. You could surf in space. S space surfing. Joe Satriani has Surfing with an Alien, that album. Yeah, so stretch is almost like an infinite. Let's just go in here. We know that this is... Can I say bad? You can say whatever you want to say. It's just me and Josh, and we know that. Um, but we do love that you're here with us. Yeah, this is going to be simple. And we're going through the pedals. It's not for everybody. Here we go. Yeah, we're already, we've been going. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to switch over to the most voted. So I did a vote. Um, um, I actually did a poll on Instagram about people's favorite new pedals. On the delay, it was the Starlight was the most chosen. This was the most voted favorite new reverb of the year from people like you. Some of you probably voted it in. Mm. So it's very cool. Old Blood Noise. Brady and the gang, um, Oklahoma Proud. 
You know what I'm saying? Panhandle. Oklahoma proud. Yeah. It is the sunlight reverb. Um, so what we have here. Do you know that I love old blood noise? You do. You've told me many times you would leave me to work for them. That's fine. Input, decay, mix, rate, and depth. Um, let's just see how crazy it gets. Whoa. That's the mod speed. Mix up, input, and um, I'm just going to do this far one over here. Let's see. That's nice. That's the sound of 2021. Yeah. At least my 2021. Yeah. I have a volume pedal. Why am I not swelling? Here we go. Let's do the pass setting. This makes me feel like I am on a spaceship alone, like a small, like an escape pod, but it got shot off in the wrong direction. <laughs> and so now I'm like reaching the end of my oxygen and I'm remembering my life. Isn't like, this a Sandra Bullock movie? No. Oh. Is it? I don't know. There's a lot. Of, I, there's an uncertainty. No, well, I'm going to die. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. I'm lost in space. You are going to die. You're lost but it's like, you know, the happy times are coming back to me as I'm fading out Is of it existence. Like the highlight? Thing? Yeah, yeah. What yeah, do you yeah. see? What do you see in your highlights? Well, I see myself and my Minpin Chihuahua mix, Nixie, laying on Double the couch. Well, she's nice to me, but just laying on the couch in our fuzzy blankets. I'm remembering uh, eating ramen with my wife ramen is one of your final memories yeah it was a good time though like we went out oh was... okay i got you i thought it was like everyday ramen no 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 okay. no like from a restaurant man i have no memories of this building yeah that kind of hurts my feelings because i've tried to give you a nice career and stuff it's fine i do remember getting an old blood noise pedal though Sweet. Anyway, I got dark. On. Moving on. Sunlight's really good. Let's see here. Next up, let's pull up the new neighbor. Illumine. Illumin. Illumin. What do we got here? I'm bad. The Illumin. The Illumin. That is a baller name. It's also like. It feels for real. No joke. This is like holding a. It doesn't feel like a pedal. It feels like um. A device. Like a weapon, like an electronic oh. weapon or something. Okay. <laughs> it's very cool. The display is really unique. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. The ultimate reverb machine. Illumin Pack 17 studio quality reverbs, 50 presets, MIDI, and powerful expression control in a low power, pedal board friendly package with top jacks. People will love that. Regardless of your instrument or style of music, Illumin has the flexibility and tone you desire. Your create your creativity is your own limit. Wow. All right. This is called Derrico. Derrico. All right. Now, keep in mind, this delay pedal is not on. That light is really going at it, but that's off. This is all in the Illumin. The menu, so you kind of just scroll to, let's say, depth, and then you use the other knob to go up or down. It's a really easy to use pedal despite it only having two knobs. That actually shocked me. I pulled this out of the box and I thought, I'm going to hate this. Because really? I'm a simple man. Oh, like yeah, I, yeah. I was like, please don't have some internal integrated 
thing that I got to do with my phone, you know, which right, I right, think right. it does actually, but it's really easy. So if we go through, this is Absinthe Pad B. Okay. Absinthe, like the drink? Yeah. Illuminate me. On the stage. Lovely hall. See, this this actually is the kind of thing that I would want. I don't play anywhere except for my, my room. And so it's like, I want as many options as I can have in one pedal. I feel you. I would love that. Can I can I have it when we're done? No. Okay. No, it's it's part of the inventory here. Okay. Big hair plate. Yeah. You add some distortion to that. You got that big old like eighties rack unit thing going. Electric cloud. So let's take something like electric cloud and uh awesome, I messed that up. Let's do absinthe pad B, right? Let's uh, find the mix, turn it way up. Let's do depth way up, shimmer level up. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I love how simple it is and the fact that it is actually tweakable. Um, he's done amazing stuff for years. It was a really cool pedal. Really, the really The product good. page is really, really cool because it gives little demos of, I don't know if it's every setting, but a lot of settings. Yeah, what does this thing cost? It costs $399. It was 479 Yeah, that's on the upper end, but, I mean, it's awesome. I think it's worth it. Something's worth what you're willing to pay. You know what I'm saying? That's wisdom. Yeah. If I wanted that pedal, I would pay that. You could I think I it, did pay that. You could give it to me. I'm not. Okay. Keeley, off the back of the Echoes, puts out the Hydra. This thing is impressive. It's got, like, tons of jacks. You can do all kinds of stuff. So you have uh, a switch for trim, uh, reverb expression stereo out presets tap tempo and you have this toggle here that goes between spring plate and room and then you can add in different movement of tremolo or like old school old school vibrato so for instance this is spring and it's a very good sounding spring i would say it's equally as good as the ua which is saying a lot it's very good Aaron's uh, Aaron, the programmer, is he's legit. The the guy that does the Keeley stuff there in house. Um, let's turn the mixer down. So this is cool because if I hit trim, I just added old school tremolo in. Let's go to plate. Trim in there, turn the trim off, and then here's room. This is like shower. Gym shower. It's 2021 and I'm singing in the gym shower. That's a hit. Right? Anybody? Yeah. You can have it. Any any of you guys out there, guys or gals, just right. Except me. It's called 2021 right? gym shower. I can't. You can't have anything. You ask for too much. Uh yeah. I don't have a favorite. I think they're all really good. That's all I'm going to say. Just from hearing them. Yeah, what do you think? The, as far as the way they what you played. Yeah. I know I know I have bias, but the the sunlight was really pretty. Yeah. I I think really I do pretty. lean towards one of these two just because they're like kind of wild, you know. Yeah. These are cool. All right, let's do the next category. You just surprised me. I don't know. What's the next category? Oh, there's one pedal, so you can pull those off. It is the category of Univibe. 
Let's check it out here. Um, it is Petal Pond's Gypsy Vibe. Now, it's huge. It's a, it's not small. It needs 18 volts. It's going to take up half your pedal board. Those sound like negative statements, but they're not. Because it's a true photo cell, through hole part construction, old school Univibe build. So we have a unicorn. It's sounds great. It's made with SMT. Um, it's in a smaller format, real bulb. But you know, sometimes you want to feel like your pedal's giant because the old ones were giant. And there is this aesthetic thing. You want to feel like you're going to take on the man. Yeah, this is like, and you want to feel closer to like Hendrix. Yeah. You know, when you hit the unicorn, it feels a little too modern for some people. So this is like, bam. So. And it has a unicorn on it. And that offends a lot of people because, you know, for every one of those pedals, we have to kill three unicorns. I can't believe I just said that on air. Can you tell me about, so I put okay. together and repaired a lot of unicorns in my yeah. day. I still don't actually know how the bulb works. Yeah. Like what's happening? It's turning on and off with the, so the LFO is the thing when I turn the minimum max here. So as I turn this knob, this is kind of replicating the internal bulb, which is cool. So imagine there's another bulb inside. If you unscrew this, it's probably the same color. I just turned off. You I just broke this pedal. It's fine. Um, that's called an LFO, low frequency oscillator. So there's one of these inside, and around it is like a wall of four uh, light dependent resistors. It's the things that tell oh, your porch light. They're turn. resistors. Yeah. Okay. So this light, when it blinks, the sensors sense it and they resist the value of which they are, and that kills the signal. But that light is an instant. It's a light bulb, so it's like it has like a pull. It like goes phases in and out. You could call it throb. <laughs> you could call it throb. In fact, the website does call it a throb. It's kind of like a juicy sound. The deepest like, throb. Hear that? It's thick like a milkshake. Like go down here to Sonic and say, mix me up a Univibe. Can you make me a actually never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Eric Reed wants yeah. you to crank the throb knob. As long as 12 people are watching this, I'll keep going. How many people? 1,200. I got it. Here's the deal. It's just us. There's no jams. We're not exciting. There are people here just for me. Okay, that's good because I'm not exciting. You're not <laughs> exciting. Not exciting. There's no I'm jams. We're just literally look into my eyes. We're gonna go through pedals very boringly, and you're here for it, I guess. All right. How much is this? It's expensive. It's a uh, three hundred. That's not bad. And ninety-seven pounds. So, like four hundred dollars. No, that's like. That's like oh no, like the four, pound isn't quite double, no, but it's, it's like four seventy five, four fifty. I bet it's five hundred bucks. So a lot of you are probably asking, "What the crap?" Well, stuff's hard to make. Supply chain during COVID is freaking insane. This is hand built, like part for part, like no machinery is populating the board. Um, it's worth what you'll pay for it. I think it's worth it if you want. I'll tell you this. So in this room, you can't see them, but five hundred and thirty-nine dollars and one cent. Yeah, like I have Mojo Sound Ultra Vibes, Old Deja Vibes, Original Univibes. This is still cheaper, and it sounds perfect compared to those like legit old ones. A bunch of you are asking if it thro throbs. I we've been over this. It throbs. It makes me really uncomfortable, but the pedal throbs. Let's do vibrato mode, which this is one of my favorite sounds in the world. 
So like my old Warbletron or the Unicorn, I use it like this. I turn on the vibrato, which removes the clean signal from the sound over here. The reason this swishes is there's clean in there and it's phasing in and out. When you go vibrato, it's just the straight mod sound without the swishing. And I love the sounds. I'm actually gonna add some delay. This is one of my go-tos. of a buzzword that I can't think of. I'm going to have to say 3D. It's very 3D. So they win. Pedal Bond, you do win. It's yeah. like when someone didn't show up at the Little League baseball game. You win greatest universe. I'm going to say this to the camera. The Pedal Pond Gypsy Vibe is the greatest univibe of 2021 and possibly the future. It's yet to be known. They can cut that out for their Instagram. It's like free. Yeah. Okay, what do we want to do next? 1,200 people, huh? Well, I'm honored, honestly. It's shocking. This is some this is some nerdy stuff. There, We almost need to figure out, like, a badge for people that watch this, like a certificate. <laughs> oh, distortions. There's a lot of these, aren't there? Yeah. All right, let's lay them all out. Let's do that pedal board cam. Oh, what's this? What is this? And there's a lot here. There is a lot going on. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to start off and just, uh, we're going to talk about one obvious thing this year. 20, last year, it's January. It was the year of the rat. Just here in this pile are four rat pedals. If you, well, the pack rat is nine. So, so it's 12 rats right here. Wampler puts out the Rats Bane, which is a very delicious rat offering. It is wonderful. You have the gain in the voice. Look at this form factor. It's so small. It's amazing. It's This is what's funny. It's smaller than the little rat that they put out, which is also great. This thing's like $79. That's a couple cups of coffee. And look at this. It's awesome. TC puts this out, which is, I think, $79. I don't, it's really cheap. The Magus. What is a Magus? Can you figure out what a Magus? It's a, it's a magician. A Magus? Magus. Mag Magus? Magus. Because I, it makes me think of maggots. <laughs> Maggot, Magus. It's awesome. It has fat, classic, and turbo. So this toggle is going to be the just clipping diodes only. And then you have the pack rat. You know, I'm proud of this one. <laughs> This pedal was years of work, uh, and it comes along with a lot of history. You can go back and watch the Pack Rat release episode, and there is an essay. We'll link to that in the description, which is the definitive rat history. You get the OG, which is big box. Then you have white face, turbo, um, brat, which is like this very weird Guitar Center exclusive version, dirty rat. Ibanez LA Metal, the Landgraf, you have the Caroline Wave Cannon mode, and then the JHS mode. And so proud of this. It's been really cool. And thanks to everyone who purchased this. Um, we sold out. We're still making them. We sold out originally, and then we're we're back in the game. But it's been amazing. One of our it's our most successful release to date. Um, so I'm not gonna play that. I'm gonna put that aside. I did my shameless plug. <sighs> I'm I'm. I need to play like a rat. And I want. Let's we'll kind of chop this up. Yeah. What do you want me to play? I want to hear the Magus. Okay. I've already played this too. I want that pedal just because it's cute. It is cute. You want to hear the Magus? Yeah. I want to hear the Rat's Bane. Side by side. We can do whatever we want, right? Yes. You want to read some comments while I get this going? Sure. Anybody scolding us? Magus. Us? Edved796 says Magus. Well. I think it just depends on um, what dialect of Greek you're speaking, but 
How do you brew your coffee, Josh? Why is it so ex I mean, I do pour over every day. Um, and everyone at the shop makes fun of me, but I do it. Why are people always on me about expensive coffee? I don't know. It's absurd. Yeah, I, like normal cup, you know, 29 bucks, something like that, every morning. It adds up, but it gets me through the day. All right. Not working. What have I got going here? Awesome. Oh, that's when the pedal's on and the volume's down. Oh, so yeah. here's the Magus TC. I'm going to turn the room off the cab in. So this is the turbo. This will be LED clipping. Classic's going to be silicon 1 in 4, 1 8s or 1 in 9, 1 6s. That volume drop, by the way, for the love of Moses, that's normal. When you get a pedal, we get emails about this all the time. <laughs> this is normal. When you have a clipping toggle, they're not going to be the same volume. So that's your LEDs, turbo, they're loud. When you go up to here, it quietens it because it's distorting it more, so you need to make up the gain here. It's not hard. I'm not being mean. I'm just saying, like... This is this is a question we get a lot. Yeah. Volume drop. How does it make you feel that I went over that? If, it feels good. Like, hopeful? It feels good. Um, 1,200 people know this now. And then they can tell one person. And, they can, and then they can tell a person. 2,400. I don't know how many that is. It's a pyramid scheme of support. <laughs> Fat is probably an input cap coupling change. This is a great pedal. What's the price here? The Magus. 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 Is $69 that's, from So Sweetwater. that's cheaper than the Lil Rat. And then here is the Rat's Bane. So this is not going to be like... This isn't your like straight clone kind of thing, you know? This isn't going after Rat authenticity. It's like Brian Wampler's Rat-tastic take on the Rat. Is Ratsbane a character? Because there's like a drawing here. There, it's horrifying. There, there is a Ratsbane character, but I can't remember where it's from. I mean, that is crazy. This voice. Yeah, Back that sounds to this. cool. This, like, dooms hard. You gotta hit just one and let it ring. Just one note? Yeah. yeah. Like, if you want to play Doom Rock, you just gotta let it, you gotta let go. And then another, another chord. Another chord now. We're getting it. Sorry, I'm learning how to Doom. I would listen to Sunno in the office when Josh and I shared an office, and he would comment on doom rock and yeah make fun of me but it's fine they wouldn't make fun of me at work but no, they might they probably would actually that's killer so let's move off of ratland my favorite rat's the pack rat these are both amazing this is probably going to be a little more expensive but it is fully american made it's brian wampler who's a genius that's all i'll say there a lot of distortions yeah I like, I like this. More? Yeah, I'm going to place another distortion. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do this because it's it's cool. I'll, I'll talk about these, though. We have the um, a Clam Windmiller preamp, which this is based off of Pete Townsend's high watt tone. Almost sure I got that right. These are really cool. It has a built-in pedal board system that goes with their pedal board. They have another <laughs> pedal that emulates. I'm glad you said that because I was trying to figure out yeah. what those, what it, those it did. It slides into their system, yeah. They have another oh. pedal that emulates the Beatles amp. Um, and it's kind of what they do. It's really cool. Um, it's a great sounding pedal. I've demoed that as well. You've then, demoed this? Yeah. This name, is. what's the actual name of this? This is the, um, the Heather Brown built I think it's called the Blessed Mother. Is it's that right? the Blessed Mother, but the model name. Does she just call it 
overdrive i'm not sure it's really cool it. um there's some different different circuits she puts in this layout like in the in the mechanical look here yeah, it's just called the Blessed Mother, as far as I can tell. Yeah. I might be wrong about that. I also love that when you plug in a cable, it's hard to see on the with the lights, but yeah, the halo, Mara's halo. The 12 She's stars. She's a really cool builder to support and follow. Her stuff sounds amazing. She Godsmom.com. Uh, yeah, Godsmom.com. She got her start at Robert Keeley's in Oklahoma. And she moved uh, up to work with Mike Matthews in uh, Queens, and then she did her own thing. So another Oklahoma proud, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not proud. She did move. I don't know. It's hard to say. That's a cool <laughs> pedal, though. And it does, like, uh, overdrive distortion and a little bit of fuzz, I would say. And then we have JoYo put out the Dark Flame. Um, these are just affordable and cool. Like, I've done a whole episode on this line. You can go check that out. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Boss was harassed since the beginning of Waza to do the HM2, and they did it. And on the back, you have a switch for a custom or standard mode, and uh, they did it. This pedal was an utter failure when it was released back in the day. Used prices raised up. They got hard to find. And some Swedish bands took this pedal and created an entire genre, Swedish death metal, around this pedal. Wait, really? Yes. This pedal, oh, like, formed cool. a genre. Uh, it's referred to as, like, kind of a chainsaw sound. Um, people hate this pedal. People hate this pedal or they love it. Um, there's some weird things where, like, David Gilmore used it a little. But the thing you do, everyone hated the pedal. They quit making it. These bands get a hold of it, and you just turn every knob all the way up. That That's is, right. That is how it works. That's right. Um, I believe we did an episode on Jupiter Effects. They make a small pedal that's just the setting. Like They make the clone <laughs> of this with just the setting. So... so, yeah, every knob is up. I'm going to start with them in the middle so you can kind of see what happens with the mids. It's wild. So we've also been over the fact that I don't know any Swedish death metal and I don't want to try to play it. So I'm going to play like silver chair chords, um, which has nothing to do with Sweden or death metal. I'm going to roll these all the way up now. Actually, I'll go almost. Did you hear the crazy mid? Listen to that. The high is really mids. It's 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 high mids. That's crazy. All the way up. Ben <laughs> Ben Moore said he begs you. I mean you're already doing it, but He's begging you to try different settings than everything else. Try different settings? Yeah. There's just not a good one. It does But you did. You started I you did. started in the middle. Let's try to do overdrive with this. <laughs> Neck pickup. That's cool. I think. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's kinda ratty. Sister Rose says it's also a big shoegaze pedal. Yeah. That is true. You have to remember, these bands, they had no money. They'd find this stuff laying around for like 15 bucks, and they made it work, and that's what happened. That control is, that high control is crazy. It's so drastic. I could hear, sh like, yeah, shit. So you have a mode back here, which is custom. 
and I don't have any idea of the actual mod, but so let's do the all knobs up and see what that switch does to the circuit. Bridge pickup. More bass, different mids. It's like a reverse Joan Jet. What are some comments about this pedal? Is, did it like did it spunk up? Uh, then... A little bit, okay. yeah. There's a lot happening. People heard people. people blah, blah, blah. Michael hates it. Um, somebody said please. his last name is hates it or he hates the pedal. No, Michael McFall. This hurts my ears. He says. Okay. Uh, they also crank up the volume. There's a lot of st somebody said, "Let's face it, it's for heavy metal." So, well, he when they put this out, though, heavy metal was this like pedal is awful. Oh, that's like Michael Winger. again. You know, heavy metal was like in their head, rat. Yeah. Or winger. Right. Rip, rip my face off again. How long is this show? I have to be somewhere in 2023. That's not our problem. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, I don't, what are some comments here? I think this is cool because people ask for it and the Waza line keeps getting better and better. They're filling it up with these classic pedals. Steven loves it, loves it, loves it. Okay. Yeah. As far as distortions, there's a lot of good stuff this year. What were your favorites? Let us know in the comment. Um, in the Sounds like poop. Yeah, this is going to be heated. All right, next up, category of tremolo. There's only one reason I want you to play that one. Do you know why? Well, it's called the Chicken Quiff. Chicken Quiff. Chicken Quiff by Pedal Pawn. I didn't know what a quiff was. Do I was you, honestly offended off the bat. Do you, <laughs> I, I quiff. You have a quiff? It's the hair. See, I thought it was a pompadour. No. Well, I mean... Is a quiff... Here's the question for the comments. Is a quiff a British pompadour? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hook it up. <laughs> what do you want to say about this? I... There's, I have nothing to say other than I have a quiff, the chicken has a quiff. The thing is, my quiff changes right now. It's a little swirly because I haven't had my haircut. I canceled my haircut because I had COVID because I'm, you know, I don't want to get no one else sick. But. That's just your civic duty. You've never had a quiff. I don't know. I don't have, like, I cut my hair you short don't. lately. You've I used, never had I've a I've had, quiff. like, froze. Like, I've let it go. For <laughs> but like it's a called a fro because it's not a quiff. Whatever. Let's look at the pedal. This is a clone of the. Diaz Trimadillo, I think is what it's called. This is a uh, Diaz was a legendary builder. A Trimadillo is like a million dollars if you can find one. Not really. They're expensive. And you have on and off and a speed adjustment. And again, Pedal Pond, they have a game plan here and it's working. Mm -hmm. They're putting out the only pedal of a category. <laughs> so they win trim. Yeah. Again, the if you want to win, be unique. Do the. The little league team didn't. Sh the, they're on the field. They're standing around, the thing, and I, I gotta call it. I they said win. be unique, but it's like these are just old pedals, and they sound great, and they but, sound cool. Yeah, and it's a quiff. That is a hard trim too in that setting. People are losing their mind about quiff. <laughs> Our viewership just dropped to like thirteen. Yeah. Fourteen thousand. That's a that's a fun sound. It's a really good sounding trim circuit. What is a chicken quiff? <laughs> it's like a this is a weird national song that no one's ever heard. Let's see. What is a chicken quiff? I quiff when I had some eggs. Now I'm sitting in the pool. I hope he's watching because I love him. I look 
Yeah. The National is one of my favorites. It is, yeah, me yeah. too. Can't afford a Trimadello, so I bought a chicken cliff. See, that's the tagline. Can't afford the Trimadello, so I bought a chicken cliff. While he gathers on that floor cam, let's make sure we watch him try to gather these. It's very exciting. This is a riveting show today. Let's just... Good job. Good job. Nick, do you have anything you want to say? Anything at all? Wow. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Nick. I think he's still mad at me. We haven't even talked about Addison. <laughs> Chicken quiff. Pedal Pond, you can use this clip. This is the greatest tremolo release of 2021, hands down. There's no competition. You can't even, there's nothing like this from 2021. It's the greatest tremolo ever made. Good job. Of 2021. All right. Chorus. Chorus is hard. I usually keep this together with modulation. I can't. The, the show's going to go on forever. What time is it? We're not bad. We're an hour in. Oh, God. We're an hour in. <laughs> we only have like 10 yeah. categories All right. left. In the comments, do you want me to speed this up or just go with the flow? Like how, how long in the comments, how long are you willing to watch this? <laughs> can, can, can we get it? I need to know. I'm here for you. Listen, I've dedicated my life to this insanity of pedals and stuff. I will sit here as long as it takes, but I need support, right? If I see the numbers dwindling, I'm out. Speed button. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to go through this. Go this with is the a, flow. This is a great pedal. It's the... Go slower. We'll do top down. Modulation machine uh, from the UA series. I've already played go these. Go with the flow. Slow it down. Five yes. hours. This is amazing. We're not going to play it, but it has the chorus, Slow. like, brigade thing, Slow. a flanger and a trailer. Slow, flow, speed. The I Eddie. think people Let's... are here for it. All right, all right. That, I've, that feels really good to me. Like, it feels like it's someone It's too cares. fast. <laughs> it feel, oh, it dissolved in my head. It feels like someone cares. <laughs> Because my worry, I honest to God, I woke up this morning and I knew what was going to happen. It was going to be me and you. I love you to death, but you're boring. And I was like, this I is know gonna, that I'm boring. This is going to take a while. Like, there's no flow. Are they going to be with me? I'm I not, didn't know. I'm not clever. You're clever. Eddie. Nick is mad at me. Eddie. And Addison's just he's disappeared. Eddie, this pedal is a Bucket Brigade chorus vibrato. You should picture this as like a small clone or a Boss CE1 with tons of knobs that's like tricked out with every possible setting. Cool? I'm going to play this one. This is the one that got me excited this year. TC, I think we've had this for like six months and they keep telling me I can't show it. So I'm showing, I think it came out on Christmas Day, which is like the strangest release date ever. How much is this? <laughs> what's, this what's it called again? The TC Stereo Chorus. The original version of this is one of the greatest pedals ever made in the history of pedals. It was the first TC pedal ever released in the 70s. It was how TC Electronics started. So they put this out. It's beautifully made. I bet the price point's killer. Um, it runs on normal power, unlike the crazy one. And let's see. It is super lush. that if you're starting a cure cover band cockatoo twins you gotta have this there. is it not out did i show it's it? on sweetwater but Crap. i'm sorry tc it's on sweetwater so that's my permission if they have it anyway chorus mode it's lush very lush I'm going to turn on some echo. Ah, here we go. Here we go. $149. $149 for this yeah. is literally robbery. On you should water. You should repent of your sins once you buy it because it's so amazing. The original is like two 
50, 300 bucks. And the flanger mode is one of the best chorus sounds ever when you just back some of the stuff off. This is the TC Electronic SCF Gold Stereo Chorus Flanger. Yeah. Flanger? Flanger. That you can find on Sweetwater right now, $149. This is my favorite thing put out this year just because of how simple it's a throwback to the classic they branded it perfectly um it sounds really good my advice to any pedal company i'm gonna give it to you right now if you're gonna reissue something you made back in the day just make it look like it wasn't back in the day right that's right all right next category nobody wants new things I don't want to see anything new, ever. I don't want to see anything new. All right. We're getting through this. We're getting through this. How's production team good? Everybody good? Is she napping? <laughs> uh, this is the GFI systems again. We saw the delay. We saw the reverb. And this is the filter. Fantastic pedals. This is Rosie. Let's have a new puppy named Rosie. It's ironic, is it? I don't know. Uh, perimeter range, modes, and mix. So if we look at modes, manual filter, envelope filter, step filter, and then you go in and expand on that. These are just so well made. That color is on point. It's such a cool orange. The screen, the user interface of this line is just top notch. <laughs> So that's envelope filter. Let's play with that. Read the copy to this. What does it say? About the product. Yeah. Rosie? Is that what we're Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it wins by default. Is a dynamic multi filter pedal encompassing three essential tone enriching filter effects. Envelope filter, a colorful resonant filter that follows your picking dynamics. That's this. <laughs> So that's like a DoD 440, which I love. The step filter, which is a groovy arpeggiated filter with fully adjustable steps. Cool. Manual filter, great for static tone shaping or sweepable wall-like effect using an expression pedal. So you could think of this as a fixed wah. You could plug an expression and move it. But I also could go in and create like, like we call it a cocked wall. Like you just leave it up, which is a mid frequency boost or filter. So your expression will express this. Yeah. Each filter mode offers four filter types, low pass, band pass, high pass, and peaking. Sweep range and resonance width are also adjustable. And on top of all of these, a dedicated mix knob allows blending of wet and dry signal. This gives you total control of how, how much? much filtering effects. How much is this? Uh, uh, give me a second. Uh, Nick, can you start up like a funky groove, like something real funky? Nick is just not with us. $199. It is out of stock How at much? the moment. $199. Yeah. It's a great price. All right, next category. GFI, you made the greatest filter pedal of 2021. There was no competition, literally. Really, there might be. Oh, phasers, phasers. Let's do that top down on this. 
We got a lot of juicy stuff here. We put out the three series phaser. It's our first phaser ever in the JHS line. Um, there's an episode of this. 99 bucks. Buy it or don't. Don't really care. It's really great. You have the Mojo Hand uh, Mr. O, which is a throwback to the first ever phaser built, which is the Maestro phaser. Um, it's a big, giant box. This is cool. I have demoed this on a new and notable. Um, I'm sure you could find it. These two I've never demoed here. Um, this is a really good replica um, I don't want to get it, but it's back behind me. It's the Roland Jet Phaser. Um, we're not going to get it. It's fine. It's a really perfect copy of that in shape and everything. This weighs about six pounds. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. You could, you could stop your door with it. You could smash your bass player's face when he doesn't come to rehearsal. I don't condone violence, but it's an option. You can do a lot of things. Uh, I am going to play this because it is really affordable. I don't remember the price, but I was shocked how cheap it was. Um, Warm Audio has been in the musical instrument manufacturing game for a long time. They make preamps like Neve Pre's, um, like Pro Audio stuff, like channel strips. How much is this? I'm looking. I remember it was like pretty good because a real jet phaser, number one, it's not going to work and it's just expensive. But this is cool. Let's see. So jet is distortion. And you have a level for that. So let's say, and you have a fast slow switch. And you can set that slow rate according when you go to slow. And it ramps. So that's the slow setting. Fast is fixed resonance so on the modes we're on phase one that's wait phase two phaser one and then you introduce the the jet which has a level 149 dollars 149 the enclosure is worth that so slow this way down That's like, that's a sick sound. It's almost like a queen sound. There's some song he used phaser on that I heard the other day. It's very similar. Um, whoa. So it's a high pass with the jet and the phase. Okay, that's cool. And then the last one of these I'll play. It's a brand new Strymon pedal. We have been blessed by Strymon this year. Strymon makes quality products. Um, this is called the... <laughs> uh, I can't... I'm not... I, <laughs> Zelza? Zelza. Can we again. look this up? Zelza. Zel I don't want to get yeah, it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful purple. It has two sides, so it's pretty straight ahead. Four stage phaser on, six stage phaser on. You can do both, and then you have like just different settings within that. This would be the small Strymon series. I don't know if there's a name for it. I don't think there is, but it's just the smaller ones. Um, I've been a long time fan of the El Capistan, that stuff. So this is a multi dimensional phaser, Vizelza from Strymon. Cool. Two I'm different under. phasers side by side in one pedal. Okay. I'm currently underpowering it. And that's all right. I'll figure it out. People are getting to see, you know, how this how this works. What it's like to work with you every day? Yes. <laughs> Live on the air. Live on the air. Here we go. We got nothing. It's working though. I mean the the lights are on. 
Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. <laughs> nice. How many times do you deal with that on the emails? Every day. Uh, Addison yeah. said that the jet phaser is uh, was not released this in 2021. So they're disqualified, and that's kind of like I failed. You failed. Wow. Did, working with Josh. Four stage. This is very good sounding. So you have classic barber and envelope. The classic. This is just a great pedal. Like, there's nothing this will not do. So I'm like envelope with strong resonance. If you like phaser, this is gonna do more than you'd ever need. Yeah. Well, both at once, how crazy. Let's do mild. The barber setting to full phase depth up. Sean Man eight 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 says I'm uh, delightfully snarky and not boring. Just so you know. That's nice of him. He doesn't work with you every day. <laughs> People adore me. I heard Harry Styles wrote that song about you. I adore you. You don't listen to popular music, sorry. <laughs> you only listen to like monks singing in the 1700s. I was listening to Thomas Tallis this morning. Yeah. Um, and Katie made fun of me. The very first thing she did when she walked in was make fun of me for it. I like this. So there's just some good phasers this year. This is very underrated. Mojo Han, you should go check it out. I think it looks cool too. Gibson apparently sent them a cease and desist on this. It's a whole other discussion. Here you go. Um, you should <coughs> check your text messages. Someone's trying to um reach you. Oh, it's it's Nick. He's where is Nick? It's an audio file called Funky Groove. Oh, dang. So I'll get you to hold this up in a minute. Okay. And then we'll have a fun. Where is Nick, though? Oh, this is good. This is good. All right. Next up. Let's let's do overdrives. I got to speed this up. Okay. We're, at, we're at 1243. Okay. My bin's already full, so you got to give me a second. It's fine. The, the technicians, the crew here, they're in shambles. They're hungry. They're tired. It's actually hot in here, too. Is it hot? Hot to you guys? It's hot. I see the thermostat, but I can't get to it. This is a nightmare. But we're doing this for the people. We're doing this for everyone. This is for the people. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, I've got to speed stuff up. If In the comments, do you want me to move on or slow it down? I need to know. All right. I'm going to go through these as quickly as I can. This is an SD1, but it's black. It looks amaze balls, and it's, like, collectible. I'm not going to play it. It's an SD1. It's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? It is. It's really good looking. Yeah. Silver screw. Man. All right. The Zeus TC Electronics, just like the Magnus Maggot Distortion we saw earlier, this is a Klon. Very cute. So this is like a $60 Klon with a fat toggle. If you want a cute Klon. If you want a cute Klon that's tiny. Um, this is the Omeless Pedals. I don't know the name of this, but it's real good. It does fuzz, but I, a distortion. It has a really cool low gain overdrive. I've shown it on another episode. I really like this. Go check out Omeless Pedals right now. Do it right now. The Crook. This is a new version of the Crook. This this little pedal, it gets a lot of attention, and rightly so, it sounds really good. It's a severely modified OCD, I believe. Um, a lot of big players have this on their board. Uh, the knobs are called Breaking and Entering, the Good Switch, High Tell, and Lay Low. 
It's killer on bass. This is probably one of the better bass overdrives you can buy on the market. Um, yeah, there's that. If Addison was here and didn't bell on us today, uh, mm -hmm. we could hear that, but he belled on us. Mm -hmm. Then we have Paul Gilbert's second signature drive pedal. Uh, the first was with us. Humble brag. I mean, I don't want to brag about how we were first. We were, though. I emailed him Yeah. today. We were first. This was second. You should go check this out. It's really affordable. It's a Mojo Mojo um, in purple. It's beautiful. Beautiful pedal. Purple is my favorite color. Yeah. Okay, let's pull up the Fuzzerocious Lil Fella. And I'll play the Bell Overdrive. I'm going to play three overdrives. Actually, and this, this needs to be talked about. This is the Eat Fresh from my birthday this year. It's the Subway Edition Morning Glory. One of one. This is going to win it for me. This is the winner. Uh, read those knobs. Bread. Meat. Veggies. Sauce toggle. Yeah, and there's a recipe for my favorite Subway sandwich. Turkey on Italian bread, lettuce, spinach, green peppers, olives, mayo, banana peppers. You, you say that I'm boring, but then you eat that. Boring doesn't mean complicated, and it also doesn't mean uncomplicated. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say boring doesn't mean yeah, well, uncomplicated. Just keep going. Little fella, talk about it. Little fella, extremely versatile overdrive distortion fuzz. Little Fella started as an update to our Demon OD Distortion to do something different with an already awesomely useful pedal. This pedal can do what your other drives and distortions can do, and way more. 9 or 18 volts. 9 to 18 volts. I don't know what it's based on. I have no idea, but it's super, super versatile. You have drive and gain, which is some kind of cascading stage here. Then you have a gain toggle. So I'm going to brighten it up. And I'm going to pull the drives back and check this out. I'm going to turn the room up on the cab sim. Turn that off. $160? Yeah. I just think that's a unique overdrive sound out of this. I don't think it's intended to do that, but... It's just cool. It's like a chunky cranked amp sound in that setting. Neck pickup. Middle position. Yeah, and then you can go crazy. some gating properties for different settings okay so that's cool fuzzerocious fuzzerocious fuzz always say fuzza it's not fuzzerocious it's fuzzerocious really great people uh the bell overdrive this is by wampler as well it's in the small format just like the rat's bane <laughs> this is a nobles overdrive in a small enclosure so you have bass and treble, level and gain. This is the secret of many in Nashville session people. The originals are very expensive. So it's good to have a small format of this, especially made by Wampler, who knows uh, a lot about this pedal. I'm actually never been super familiar with the Noble stuff. I have the line just to study it and do a history one day. But yeah, Brian was the guy to do this. So it's really good. <laughs> Clipping toggle. It's really dynamic in the sense of I'm playing lightly. Bite in. Turn the bass down. Let's brighten it up. It makes me think of why people like the Timmy. Um, but it's not like the Timmy, but it does have the bass and treble, which has a similar feel as a user. Yep. 
It's a great pedal. What's the price on that? Pretty cheap. We'll just make something up. I think it's one forty nine. I don't know. Probably one forty nine ninety seven. Was I right? Yeah. Man, I can price a pedal. You were ninety seven cents off. Sorry, Brian. And then this is a very new release from like Christmas, I believe. Um, this is Brown Amplification, good friend here in town. Uh, you are familiar with the Protein and the T4. This is his take on, well, it's part of the Protein. So his Protein is actually a Nobles and a Bluesbreaker. So kind of the thing this is based on and then kind of the thing the morning, My Morning Glory is based on. So this you could think of. It's the same family as a Morning Glory. It's the same family as a King of Tone, et cetera, et cetera. So um, it is unique in the sense that, honestly, it sounds nothing like a Morning Glory to me. Um, it's a really different take. The subtleties are very different. Um, it has, like, the high end is really unique on being a blues breaker. Um, so let me play it. It has a very good interesting cut through in the way that it can get through a mix i think the high end has some i can't think of a word uh i keep wanting to say like artifacts it's not art that feels negative it's 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 very bright in the top in a way that's interesting like it breaks up differently in the treble response yet it has more bass than say a morning glory I think it does. It, so if you like a morning glory and you use it more on the high gain end, you should try this because it's probably more versatile with high gain settings. I think that lends itself to this being a little bit more like a, a king of tone. See, that's chunky. That's a big. So like, let's let Nick do that funky groove. So you just hit that and play it. So Nick's going to do the funky groove over the iPhone here. Ready? Yeah. Nick, it was, it was good having you back. He's so mad at me. He would rather play drums from whatever wasteland he's at. He's probably mad that I let you hold his drums. Yeah. You held his actual creative art. You tainted it. All right. Uh, go on to the next category. I'm going to make this a separate category. It's called Amp in a Box. I didn't really see any Amp in a Box pedals. Think of Amp in a Box. Like, Wampler's done this for years. Like, Plexi's, things like that. I have the Charlie Brown or the Supro. This is the 10 years pedal, and um, I have the box. First of all, this is hand splash painted, right? Look at this. 10 years, tabletop. Look at that. Look at this. It's a PV decade in a box. Come on. It looks so good. I don't even care how it sounds. It looks so good. The manual is on a Valentine's card. Can't wait. It says to wish you plenty of fun. Happy Valentine's Day. 9 to 18 volts. I prefer 9 for guitar, 18 for bass. The decade amp ran at 19 from Gus Pancakes. People These are, are really mad that you moved on from the crook, but keep going. I'll, I can play the crook. Are these people really around for this? I'm just trying to move. Yeah, people want the crook. I'll play in a minute. I love the crook. My pet monster. Gus Pancakes makes these in limited runs. And 
I can't tell you how to find them. I'm not allowed to tell you where you should pick. Like, I can't tell you anything about it. I can just play it, and then you need to go find it on your own. I can't be, I'm not your parents. I can't tell you everything, okay? Sometimes you got to grow up and find your own pedal, and that's what you got to do here. Ten years. PV Decade, made famous by, what's that band? Dave Grohl was the drummer. Oh, people are going to hate me. I should know this. Uh, I'm telling Katrina about this. Oh, uh, what is his name? The guy that's in... Uh, my brain is dead. It's an L.A. band. Was it Nirvana? Please don't say Nirvana. He played on the first record. I hate everything. It's a very famous rock band. Anyway, he played one of these. I'm getting made fun of in the comments. Someone will answer. So post pre saturation, it sounds really good. You can see this is on St. Vincent's board, I believe, at this point. It's getting around. Gus Pancakes is doing good stuff. Uh, but you got to find it. I can't help you out. You're kind of in the club or you're not. That sounds just like a PV amp. What's the name of the band? Are you sure? You want me to do this? Yeah, I can't remember. My brain's dead. It's not Foo Fighters. No. No, no, no. It's a band he played drums on, like, the first record. Oh, the drum guy? <laughs> What's their name? The band's name. Nirvana. No, it's not Nirvana. No, it's not Nirvana. There's a. What? I need to move Grove? on. No, it's a. It's a band that I literally can see them and hear their music in my head, and I cannot think of their name. So, okay, so here's what's happening, Ryan. I don't know if you're kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Look at. All right, camera on me. Someone help me remember the name of the band where Dave Grohl played drums early on. The guy played a PV Decade amp, and that's why this has been made. Someone say it. It's a huge band. Is it Queens of the Stone Yes, Age? thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. That was exhausting. <laughs> This is a really great pedal. I would say this might be my favorite, like, it's my favorite amp in the box of the year for sure, but it's up there with being a great distortion pedal of the year. All right, it's great. Let's move to fuzz. There's too many fuzzes to even play around with. It's freaking insane. Let me do the crook. I don't want to get beat up. I don't want to get beat up. The crook by Poison Noises. The Crook. I like it as a low gain on the guitar. It does a lot, though. Check it out. These people are pushy today. So what I'm doing here is I want to put the gain really low. Like, that's, that's the volume, so... I want the setting really low on the guitar. I think that is a really amazing drive sound. So that's like your volume. Turn the lows down. Because they're chunky because it's really for bass. But it's so good on guitar. You have the toggle. The sound. It's a great pedal. We've, we're losing most of our tech, tech crew. I don't know that the show can survive. <laughs> All right, we've hit an hour and a half. How many people are with us? Still 1,400. Wow. I'm playing this because I'm wearing the shirt. Wait, Dave Grohl played drums for Nirvana, right? Yeah. Okay, did, did I just, just needed that? I just needed to be clear. I never listened to He's Queens played drums for a lot of people over the years because he's a great drummer. Okay, okay. Anyway, two fuzz. 
fuzz there's just a lot of fuzz fuzz was probably the most released category of the year it's insane i cannot play all these and i have to move on ripped speaker tone bender yeah so hand me the ripped speaker this is the sound of there's a myth there's a legend it's probably true nobody's sure certain people ripped their speaker comes with razor blades this is that sound what's a little depressing for me is this does a lot more than that and i think it's a really versatile fuzz you should check it out it's really cheap don't let the ripped speaker scare you because it actually does a lot more sounds boss put out fuzzes the fz1 waza this is i believe i you know the holidays were hard and all i think this is like a classic fuzz face kind of thing that they put out i'm not positive on that this is actually really new to me i just got it in and i haven't been able to play it a ton but it is a new waza fuzz and that's exciting because a lot of people freaking peed their pants over this and got offended that it was like limited run and all that people don't understand the world's hard you can't make infinite of this kind of thing this is a special limited edition tone bender collaboration with solo sound really cool an important historical collaboration benson germanium fuzz this is a first ever tech temperature controlled fuzz this is a big deal chris is an amazing ant builder he's up in oregon and he does good stuff this has basically a crazy invention inside of it that regulates the temperature of the actual germanium part and stabilizes it oh that's that guy it's insane yeah, yeah, yeah. and it sounds amazeballs if you like fuzzes and germanium stuff you must buy this you must it's try a resistor it. right that's it's laid on top of it's, yeah it's like we went through what that was an episode yeah we talked about it in a new and notable solid gold effects put out the imperial which is finally somebody doing a take on the jumbo fuzz which is this just amazing fuzz i don't know what else to say it's awesome we covered it in an episode warm audio cloned the fox tone machine and even did the like fabric like the very uncomfortable <laughs> fabric yeah it sounds great it's made like a tank it's called flocking you put this stuff on with a procedure called flocking you should google flocking flock an enclosure and see what comes up sorry if something weird comes up now we're thinning this out you need to check out weird noises there's a couple of releases from them there's the fuzz it and the what the fuzz i've shown those but they're really great very nice very nice people yes very nice this pedal um gain volume and texture haunted labs i don't actually know the name of the pedal it's not on here but it's it's uh it's heavy it looks like it it sounds like it looks it's a reaper of tone the war law which we did an entire bio on jupiter effects this is their take if i'm remembering correctly an ic big muff it's wonderful these are two very exciting releases that are very recent i have the shirt on for this one chrom can you explain can you look this up because i don't i don't i need it to be done justice this is philippe this is his take on the vintage 70s super tone bender the super tone bender was built by sola sound and it is in fact a big muff clone this is where it gets interesting the chrome chrom i think it's chrom 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 is a little bit of this the tone control from a tweed amplifier and it's awesome so i'm gonna play it so you have um three controls basically volume tone and fuzz um you have a turbo push button here people finally bothered him enough about his internal switches that he did that i think that's funny i'll text him later and laugh there's a the person switching the cameras is physically falling asleep <laughs> it is caroline right this is a big old fuzz sound Mm -hmm. 
That turbo mode is uh, that's spicy. Let's, let's brighten it all the way, which is basically, if I'm assuming correctly, you're removing the tone control. Every knob all the way up. Yeah, amazing. I cannot find the product page for that. It's fine. Go check it out. Um, it's the Riddle of Steel. I don't know. It's fine. We got to move on. Okay. It's all right. Everybody knows we love Caroline and his stuff's so clean and good looking. This is the Zezba. I didn't want to do a separate category for octave fuzz. This is a unique octave fuzz in the fact that it's not really a Fox Tone machine. It's not an Octavia. It's its own thing, and that's cool. Pedals are dropping here. Uh, look at this. Attention to detail. JHS sucks. I love it. All right, play this. So it's very Velcro-y, and then you can hold this and activate a stinger mode. So because I need to play, I'm going to let Joshua just sting it. I'm going to let him sting it. And I think you just do it by... Look, I don't know how to use this pedal. Hold on. I thought you turned it on. Yeah. Yeah. cool uh that's it for fuzz no i didn't show the earthquaker i gotta show the earthquaker it's awesome um this is the his hisumitas hisumitas i believe it is a very very cool thing i've only seen one other company i think do this it's the there's they're different but Rin and cuff has the white elk now this is based around not this exact one, but there was an elk corporation and they made a super fuzz sustainer. Some of them actually say big muff on them. It's a weird Japanese clone of a big muff with some very strange values. Uh, Jamie actually showed me what he used to actually make this pedal. And it's a version I've never even seen of the elk. So it's unique. Um, it's very heavy. Keep going, trucking along. Well, I said we had three hours. <laughs> this is the flanger from the three series. We put that out and um, I'm proud of it. It's our first ever flanger, 99 bucks. There's an episode on that. Check it out. Here we have the walrus, walrus polychrome flanger. Um, I like this. I was impressed with how good it just sounds. I know that's a dumb statement, but it's easy. I just turned it on. Every sound is really nice. It has a mood. So I'm in the top shape, bottom voice. That lizard is pretty groovy, too. Do you like walrus as much as you like old blood? No. Okay. It's not that I don't like walrus. It's just, yeah. you know. I gotta say it again. Oklahoma proud. Right? One of our tech crew is from Oklahoma. 
very proud person. Also really likes Stained. And loves Stained. I think Oklahoma breaks a person in a way that I'll never understand. I've driven through Oklahoma once. Once. Mm -hmm. To Texas. The last time I went, I got a ticket. This horrible speed trap, like outside of a reservation. It was like a $400 speeding ticket. <laughs> I had to not buy a pedal that month. I'll never forget it. Ooh. It was a joke. You didn't have to buy a pedal. Why don't you calm down, okay? Why don't you calm down? All right. I just so want I think one. in the flanger setting. I just want you to give me one pedal. No, I can't do that. The Polychrome's killer. I'm not going to play this either. It's so good. We did the release video on this. It's the Atreides by Way Huge. It is an analog weirding module. So we actually did the release. You can go check it out. We sold this thing out everywhere, which is really fun. George Trips is one of my heroes. He's a, a pedal genius. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to. It is what it is. I already talk about it all the time. This ultra wave, the, the pitch category is tricky because pitch, there's not like a true pitch thing that I saw this year. Like, nor do we maybe need one. This is an intelligent harmony machine. So you're not going to get like pitch, like honestly, like I would use, I just always want octave up. This is weird. So you end up with uh, kind of what the whammy does, but way better when it comes to harmonies. <laughs> So right now, I'm on mode four, which is a third and a third. If I go down to mode three, I'm on, uh, sorry, let's go to something interesting like a sixth and, yeah. And this is not for the faint of heart. You can choose a key. You can override the poly ability. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I I zoned out. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> it's so hot in here. I zoned out for probably a full minute. Can you turn the air on? Like Yeah. <laughs> we're we're having I'm literally sweating. Do you see this? How long what's the stream length at this point? Hour 42. <laughs> I need, anybody need a break? Do we need a little break? We're going to take a two minute break. Can we take a two minute break? I'm taking a two minute break.
Hey, we're back. Um, honestly, <laughs> Josh, how? So I like. I um didn't check back in. I put pedals on the table, and then next thing I knew, you were going, diddly, diddly, diddly. and I had you talked for about the treaties, Atreides, and whatever this. I don't even know what's on the table. I went somewhere. Yeah, we're 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 like an hour and fifty minutes into this. We got to wrap it up. I can't play guitar anymore. I'm We're exhausted. almost done. So we have John. He's off camera. We brought him in from support. He's just going to pl play the guitar. We just got to get out of this episode. We're trapped. <laughs> in the comments, let us know if you're enjoying this. Seeing us tormented by 2021's greatest pedals. We've had a couple staff quit. There's a person that resigned because of this episode. Yeah. I can. You just play and just trust that there's a thing going on. It's fine. Just play anything. Whatever you want. <laughs> what is what is this? All right, let's look at this pedal. This is an intelligent harmony machine. The guitar player currently can't hear anything that's going on, and he's never played the pedal, but we're getting him headphones. All right. I can go through. <laughs> it's funny hearing him. He has no idea what's going on. All right, just play a note. Play a single note. Yeah, so this is a sub octave, right? This is now a third, a seventh, and a plus eighth. <laughs> this is now a fifth, eighth up, fifth, eighth down. Can you hear your guitar? <laughs> yeah, it's, that's enough. All right. We're like desperate here. Okay. So it's an intelligent harmony machine. I think it's impressive. I think I'm really tired. Yeah, can you hear? You can hear yourself? Yeah, kinda. Why didn't I do this to start? We should have. I should have had somebody playing the whole time. I'm not a good guitar player anyway. It's exhausting. I play like four chords. Yeah, that's pretty. There's delay on, obviously. I really love Josh, but not so much Josh. Yeah. You have volume, keys. All right, move off of that. Let's go to the Ultra Wave. So EH, congratulations on making a crazy pedal that a, a few people are going to absolutely love. I'm serious. Like, yeah. that's a good thing. I'm not, I didn't, a lot of people have been looking, like the small format on this is insane. It does poly or non-polyphonic. It does momentary. It's really killer. So that'll be the kind of pedal in like 20 years. It's on a bunch of records and people are going to wonder how they did stuff. All right, Ultra Wave. Ultra Wave basically is marketed as, first of all, voiced. First of all, it's source audio. Everything's amazing. But this is marketed as a strange, unique, innovative distortion pedal that offers octave elements or pitch elements. So I love that you've never played any of these. This is exciting. All right, here we go. That almost sounds like the way a Hammond organ pedal, like, there's a click in there that's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's kind of like a, that's a really good octave fuzz sound. It's a more controllable. 249 X with water. Like, what is even going on there? I don't know, because I can't hear it. Oh. Oh, we got some step going on. You would love this, but you can't hear it because we gave your headphone mix to the guitar player. Okay. Uh, next up, we're not going to play an EQ, but this is a really good EQ. Source Audio put out the EQ2 um, boost 
preamp, EQ, tone shaping, pre, post emphasis for your overdrive pedals. If you're looking for something to, let me say it like this. A lot of times the best things are the boring things and this is a really powerful device. So if you have drive pedals that you really like, um, you can take this and turn them into other drive pedals just by uh, hitting them and having different presetable EQs for different things. Let's we'll see. Man. You got these and then Everything you got, got these. Everything got really loud. It's like violently yeah, loud in my ears. Back. All right. Um, yeah, so EQ is what it is. We have a couple compressors. They're both really good. Let's do tabletop. Um, this is the classic Keeley compressor uh, put in a mini format. It's really affordable. You can't go wrong with this. Keeley sold like 100,000 of these compressors. And then Mojoham put out the Clarity compressor, which has a slope envelope mix, compression, and level. It's a very, very cool pedal. Um, you should check this out as well. Um, do we want to, you want to play a compressor? Sure. Let's play the Clarity compressor by Mojohan, because everyone's heard the Keeley compressor a million times. Here we go. <laughs> aren't that exciting, but they're very needed. Yeah. Compressors aren't that exciting. That's okay. I think if we admit that yeah, it's fine. as a group of people, we're good. We're wrapping up here, aren't we? Yeah, we're real close to the end. All right. This is from Valco. It is huge. It is built like love tone pedals, which I think is really cool. It has the hinge, all that stuff. It's a drive pedal, tremolo, and reverb. I'm just showing this because it's obnoxiously cool. It's big, and it does a lot of stuff. And let's plug it in. What's the price on this thing? Three seventy nine. Three seventy nine, but it's a three in one. Let's see here. All right, so let's do the drive side, John. Here we go. Added the tremolo. So you have different waveforms. And then let's just do the reverb. All of them at once. It's super cool. I think that would be a really good fit in that format for synth players, keys players as well. And bass players like big pedals because they always feel like they don't oh, get yeah, enough attention. Because they're playing bass. Yeah. Uh, there's a category that almost got lost on the floor. It's called Boost. We're not going to play any because we're exhausted. Um, this is the Madsen Amplification Treble Booster. I showed it on an episode. That episode got deleted from the internet. We're not sure... What happened there? Sorry, you can't go back and watch it. It's just a really good one. Um, go check out Madsen Amplification. He's a fellow Missourian making good stuff. We have the High Headroom Discrete Op Amp Boost from Milkman. Let's do top down so it's clearer. This is a discrete op amp boost. I've never seen this in a pedal. What this means, it is not a little chip op amp. 
It is an op amp built like a pro audio mixer desk, like say API, where you take a ton of other transistors and parts and you make an all analog discrete op amp out of tons of other parts. Because when you look inside of a chip, it's actually a bunch of other parts inside of a chip. So if you take a, I don't know, take like a chip like the 4558 that everybody goes crazy over in a tube screamer, if you could see inside of it, it's actually a city of other transistors and resistors and things inside of it. He built it out discreetly in here. It's a great always on pedal, like buffer booster thing. It's also insanely powerful and clean all the way up. It's very cool. And then this germanium boost. So obviously, you know, I thought, oh, he made a trouble booster. No, he used the tech of the germanium cooling tech that he has that, that regulates the transistor. And basically, he's using for the first time ever in the history of guitar, I think, um, a germanium transistor, but keeping it completely not gained at all in the sense of distortion, no clipping, and it's a crystal clear, powerful germanium boost that's not a treble boost. It's really odd and cool. And then I think we wrap on this. We have a category called, I'm just going to call it fun. Fun time category. Fun times. Um, this is a fun time uh, category here. This was an April Fool's release. If we look down, um, basically, I'm just going to let you figure out what it is. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> about it. It's amazing and hilarious. That's all. I know. I know. Yeah. You know. This was made. It says, kindly remember the ridiculous hype that offends so many is not of my making. <laughs> it's really Enough good. said. All right. Uh, I have a can. You have a can. What do you want to do with that? We Let's can. See. We can. Can open. Should we? Do you want to do it? We can. Yeah, I can open it. We right. just bought that from the Dollar Tree. The the can opener, not not the can. So I just open this? Just open it. Right here? Yeah, right now. Let's do top down for this. Right here, right Ooh. now. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Wow. They put the pedal in a can. It's in a can. Tub tasty, tubbo tasty beans. We had a big fight in our office office the other day about beans. I love beans. It's the fart pedal. Can can you demo the fart pedal, John? Sure. <laughs> this is um. I think what we do is we close out on this. Does anyone? I'm just gonna invite the tech crew into this combo if they want. Anybody want to say anything about this year? The wonderful pedals that have come out. Anybody? Nobody's interested. Josh, do you have any final thoughts on this year? It's been a hard year for um, a lot of people. The, I mean, honestly, this. I had COVID for Christmas. Uh, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. COVID for Christmas. Well, let's wash away 2021 with the greatest fun category pedal i've ever seen i don't even know who makes this does anybody know the name it's just just google fart pedal i don't know i, don't I thought know. it was a joke when i saw it maybe it is maybe that's how good it is all right here's the sound of the fart pedal we're going to close off on this thanks for hanging in here this is like a two hour 2021 thing there's like 12,000, 14,000 people who have watched this. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how, and I'm very thankful. Check it's out It's only 13,000 now. But... We lost 1,000 people. They're dropping like flies. I got to get out of here. All right, here's the. right, we're going to play the fart pedal. Let's keep it top down, and just John's going to play something beautiful for us. Let me make it... Let's dry. There's a wet dry. I don't want to say how I feel about this because the goal is to be 
You know, we want to be nice. Can I delay this? Yes. like a new genre. Remember when I gave you a two weeks notice like three years ago? I'm gonna go ahead and cash in on that. This is not shoe gaze, this is fart gaze. Cheek gaze? Cheek gaze. So, all right, we haven't, let's talk through this control system. What is going on? What do you think about this, John? Amazing. Yeah. So we have an output volume. Give us a single note. <laughs> All right, hold on. Like, can you fart like, core? Like, play like an a, a low E high E. Let's just see. Okay, I, I don't know how we didn't think of this, but um, butt rock. And then let's go to wet mode. Wet mode. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. Someone said I literally just tuned into the stream and this is happening. What's the middle position? Normal. Play. That's normal. So there's a dry, normal, wet. But let's test this out for real. I need to, we're going to play this. I guess like a pick the same note. Let's do normal. Let's do dry. And let's do wet. Okay. I think um, we're done. We're done. <sighs> we are done. I'm okay. done. It's 1.33. You have just witnessed two hours of a review of 2021's best new releases. You could call it a year in review. But there was nothing exciting or fun. We didn't get to jam. We're missing people. We're mm -hmm. low on staff. Nick is mad at Nick me. Nick is mad. I'm Addison, mad at Addison disappeared. We had to pull in somebody to play guitar because I was questioning everything. We're done. See you later. We're out. Bye.